By the mercy of Gurudev, we got the service to recite Shri Shri Prema Bhakti Chandrika. And I welcome all of you. Today's subject is about the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Gauda Hari Avatara Premera Badara Kori Sadhila manera nijaka cha radikara prana pati ki bave kanda ye niti iha buja bakata samaja. So now we hear about Gaura Hari's avatar. He manifested a clay, a rain cloud of prema, and thus he fulfilled his mind's desires. One second, my phone is ringing. Sorry. Gaura, ich bin gerade im Zoom. Sorry. Ja, ich wollte ja nur beglückwünschen für die äh, schönen Sonnenstunden am Meer. Ah, ja, nee. <lacht> Very sorry. So Gauda Hari's Avatar manifested a rain cloud of Prema and thus he fulfilled his mind's desires. Only the assembled devotees can understand how the Lord of Sri Radhika's life wept, assuming the ecstasy of Radhika herself as Gora. How the Lord went to work. I will skip the first part because I have only one hour, so we will go into the subject immediately. Srila Ramananda Roy told Sriman Mahaprabhu, Radhika Rabhava Kanti Kori Angikara Nijara Saswadite Kori Acho Avatara Nijaguda Kaya Tomar Prema Svadana Anusange prema moi, koile tripuvana. Accepting the feelings and complexion of Radhika, you have descended to relish your own flavors. Your own secret aim is to relish prema, and as a concomitant bifactor. Objective, you fill the three worlds with prema also. This is a quote. Radhe Suniti. Yes, okay. I'm seeing now. Please excuse me. We had some internet problems since yesterday and it's going on and off sometimes. I'm so sorry about that. So we were like discussing about what Ramananda Roy told Mahaprabhu. And he said that you have descended to relish your own flavors. Like he said to him, I speak what you make me speak. And you, you want to relish the flavors of yourself. Because why yourself? Because Shimati Radhika and Mohan are non-different from each other. He could have said also, you wanted to uh, relish... Uh, Shrimati Radhika's flavors, but no, he says you want to relish your own flavors in the feelings and with the complexion of Radhika. So here also there's a hint that actually between Radhika and Mohan and their flavors, there's no difference. But still, also to bless the people in this Kali Yuga, this frame 
was relished in a way that it was never relished before. Why? Because before Krishna always came with the feelings of Krishna, of Vishnu. When he was Matsya Avatar, when he was Nishinga Dev, he, he came with the feeling of being God, distributing also mercy and love, but not the mercy and the love of the feelings of Srimati Radhika in her separation feelings, in the, we could say, with the, uh, how do you say, imbibing it into Mohan. Because actually, they are one and they are not different. There's one very beautiful verse in Radha Ras Sudhanidhi where this is described by the verse of uh, Swarup Damoda. Jai Radhe Gurudev. So now we hear more about this. It is not hard at all for Sriman Mahaprabhu to fill the world with prema, for he is Gauda Hari. And again we have a quote from Chaitanya Chaitamrita. The word Hari has different meanings, of which two are predominant. He destroys all inauspiciousness and he steals the mind with his love. With his own body, Gauda Hari has shown the greatly loving golden complexion of Sri Radha. And thus, he instantly destroys all the inauspicious sensual cravings within the hearts of the conditioned souls and steals everyone's minds by giving prema. Wow, this is a very, very nice sentence. With his own body, Gora Hari has shown the greatly loving golden complexion of Shirada. So this time, Krishna comes with the complexion, with the feeling, and with the heart of Srimati Radhika. So it's like he says, this time you all become blessed by that divine love that is between Radha and me. And you can have the chance to, to serve this love and not only be, you know, blessed by being overwhelmed by this love or purified by this love, but you can serve this love. And thus he instantly destroys all the inauspicious sensual cravings within the hearts of the conditioned souls and steals everyone's minds by giving prem. That's very interesting that he instantly steals the hearts and takes away the inauspiciousness. We know that also the most popular Leelas are Jagai and Madai, and then also we know Sava Boma Bhatta Acharya. So it's not only like the sensual cravings are, you know, from those who are always drinking and always like to enjoy their bodies by harming others, but also we know that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he was also blessing Sava Boma Bhatta Acharya, who was fully identified to be a scholar. He was not overcome by by any sensual cravings. He was a very austere personality. So much so that Mahaprabhu also had to cut and crack up his uh, gyan tendency and his, uh, how do you say that, tendency to be always so super strict and such a scholar and such a sadaka of high class discipline. So one morning, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came to the hut of Lava Boma Bhattacharya. And he was just getting up. And Mahaprabhu was very, very early. And Sava Boma was kind of tumbling, you know, still out of his bed or something. And then Mahaprabhu came in and he bring him a Mahaprasadam of Lord Jagannath. 
And he said to him, please take this immediately. And usually for Sava Boma Bhattacharya, he will not eat anything before he had take a shower, brush his teeth, chant his Gayatri mantras, do all his, you know, rituals. Because he was a Brahmin and a scholar and a very, very educated and highly qualified personality. So we see also that Mahaprabhu, he came and he also instantly <laughs> destroys all inauspicious blockages for him to really become a Raga Noga Bhakta. And we know that uh, Sababhoma Bhattacharya, he took that Mahaprasadam, he was overwhelmed. And I remember one class of uh, our dear um, Jayananda Maharaj, where he was, was telling about this, also about Prabodhananda Sarasvati Thakur, so many great, great scholars, they became, they became captivated. They saw Mahaprabhu, they saw the golden complexion, they felt the frame emanating from his beautiful, beautiful body. They became mesmerized. So we can imagine that the beauty of Shimati Radhika and Mohan together is uh, just like a miracle. And Mahaprabhu came to give that, that special gift, stealing all the hearts, stealing all the coverings and giving the souls the chance to overcome any any blockages that they had to enter into real prema with his own body with his own body just his body was so beautiful just seeing mahaprabhu means falling in love means melting heart melting mind melting forgetting everything with his own body gora hari has shown the greatly loving golden complexion of shirada and thus he instantly destroys all the inauspicious sensual cravings within the hearts of the conditioned souls and steals everyone's minds by giving prema see he is not waiting like Chaitanya is not waiting until they develop him. He's giving. He's giving. He's just distributing it by his beautiful golden form, by Shimati Radhika's lavanya, by her effulgence. So we are so lucky that we have the good luck. We have been born in this time and we are really also in the same uh category. Maybe we cannot see Mahaprabhu, but we have association of the, you know, Dasi, Anudasis, Anudasis, of the Dasis of Rupa Manjari, of Rati Manjari, of all of them. They have come, they have given that, and they are still distributing it through the Dasis who are following them and helping us to also become melted by this Prem, which is coming from the golden form of Shimati Radhika, through Mohan, who has become Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, and who got completely immersed in that golden Prema of Shimati Radhika, so much so that he, you know, at one point, he, he was Shimati Radhika. He became so much absorbed in her bhavas, in her feelings, that he became like her. And distributing that frame is this special gift for us in this time. And I remember, Gurudev, not long ago, maybe four or six or seven weeks ago, we were reading this verse from Vilapa Kushmanjali. I think it's 85 where this is also described very beautifully, that at one point, Mohan became Mahabhav. He was overwhelmed. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is walking, is talking, is vibrating in that special Mahabhav of Shimati Radhika and distributing 
this for all the souls who want to serve this, to also want to become servants of Shimate Radhika, the Dasis, in their constitutional position, not only as a servant to Godhead, which is also nice, but no, this Mahamantra, which is emanating from his lotus mouth now, is filled with Mahabhav, is filled with different, different feelings that they have when they are together. And that Baba says here, and also uh, Narottamata says, only the assembled devotees can understand how the Lord of Sri Radhika's life wept, assuming the ecstasy of Radhika herself as Gora. Only the assembled devotees means those who are together in the same feeling and the same desires and mood. How, how Mahaprabhu, everything what he was doing when he was chanting Krishna, Krishna, this was Shimati Radhika that was giving Mohan the chance to feel how she is weeping for him. And so the Lord of Radhika's life, he came and he wept in her ecstasy, in her feelings, and distributing these feelings. Just as the monsoon cloud showers rain in all directions to soothe and to moisten the heated affliction of the world, similarly, loving Gora Hari makes a cloud of prema rise in the universal sky and soothes the conditioned soul's heated affliction of the three kinds of material misery and inundates everyone in an ocean of prema. My God, every sentence is like a poem. You feel it? Just as the monsoon clouds shower rain in all directions to soothe and moisten the heated affliction of the world. The world is heated. The world is very much suffering in the fire of material consciousness, which is never satisfied. So we need a rain of mercy. The world or the conditioned souls in this planet Earth, especially now, need some rain of mercy. And this will soothe, it will make it, you know, refreshed. All the souls become refreshed and moistened. They become, they, you know, when there's too much fire in the body, you know what happens? Everything becomes dry, becomes dry, the hair becomes dry, everything dry out. But see, Goranga, the shower of prema, make everything fresh. We feel alive again. We feel, especially in our constitutional position, we feel again juicy. And life is again, you know, happiness. And life is again a merciful feeling. And why? Because loving Gauda Hari, loving Gauda Hari, makes a clear rise in the universal sky and soothes the conditioned soul's heated affliction of the three kinds of material misery and inundates everyone in an ocean of prema. So I just got the inspiration by Guru's grace that actually we can also feel that how Shimati Radhika, when Mohan is very dried out and he is also so full of heat and so full of desire to meet her, then she also showers him with her prema. Sometimes even Mohan becomes so dry when he cannot meet our beloved Swamani. And he's going here and there, but Nowhere he can really feel the, you know, monsoon clouds of her love, of her prema, 
of her rasa because she is rasa sara. So Shimati Radhika is rasa sara, so she can distribute that prema like a big cloud. She is the 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 container of this love, of that divine, you know, sweet drops of mercy. And not only drops, sometimes it becomes a rain and sometimes it becomes a hurricane even. <laughs> a hurricane of prem that can even uh, melt, you know, all the souls in this Kali Yuga. And they are taken in that prem back to their constitutional uh, position. And as Shimati Radhika is soothing Mohan, making him feel soft, making him feel comfortable. So also when Gora Hari comes, the combined form of Radhika and in the heart is Krishna, like in every living being, observing, feeling. When this happens, then the, the soul's heated afflictions of the three kinds of material misery are inundated. What are the material miseries? We have to be born. We will grow up and we will be, you know, getting older, getting diseased, and we have to also suffer death. There are these miseries that come from outside, from any calamity like an earthquake or volcanoes or any kind. And even now in this Kali Yuga, it is so obvious. We have everywhere, there's always some uh, flooding or some burning fires and woods are, you know, the forests are, are burned out and we have droughts and everything is so uh, not so balanced anymore. It's not so sattvic. It becomes like very hot or very cold. These are the material miseries. And then we become sick. Any kind of disease can come at any moment. And everything is like in that fire, we, we get uh, very dried out because nobody wants to suffer this material mis miseries. But by the power of Prem, even being in the material body, that material body can become spiritualized. It becomes shiny. It becomes juicy. It becomes young. It becomes very uh, useful again because we are connected with our positions as eternal servant and dasis of Shimati Radhika especially. And by the mercy of our Gurudev, of all our brothers and sisters, we're constantly reminding ourselves. And that means we are connected. It's like when you plug electricity into the plug, then you can do anything with it. But we don't put the plug out. If we put the plug out, then there's no connection. So why are we having these meetings in Zoom and in Vrindavan and in our melas all around the world? We want to be plugged in. We want to be connected. We want to feel alive with that love, that Gauda Hari, Gauda Gauranga Mahaprabhu has showered to the whole world. And these particles of Prem, they are just waiting for any soul to be ready to accept. I don't know. This is my mood. I feel this mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is just waiting for all of us to be more empowered, especially by Nityananda. Right, Gurudev, because we are in this line of Nitai. We are the, you know, servants of Nitai and Janama, Janavama. We are just ready to be used. If we can be used, please take away, you know, today we can pray. Take away all these heated afflictions of my material ego and use me. Use me as you like, my dear Nitai. My dear Gurudev, all my brothers and sisters. The other day I had a discussion. And like I am a little bit heated also, I said, the whole world is waiting for this. <laughs> Why don't we do more? I don't know. Sometimes I get also heated. And then some devotees said, nobody's uh, eager to accept it. 
Um, the people just want to be left alone. People in Kali Yuga, they don't want to do nothing. They are not eager to listen. This is only a few devotees. But we have the proof now with all the beautiful devotees from especially Japan, right, Kishori and Kevala Bhakti and all these beautiful souls, Braja Biharini. Just a few years ago, you also didn't know about nothing, right? And now this mercy of Chaitanya, by the mercy of Jayananda Maharaj, all your teams, it became so now so easy to approach. So we can see that by the mercy of Sri Guru, a, blame, a blind person can see and a lame person can walk and the deaf person can hear. So that is the beautiful thing that actually when uh, a real Brajabasi desires things, then these things happen. They are blessed and they happen. Even there may be more obstacles, but no problem. This material world is, uh, you know, it's full of obstacles. But to always walk on the head of the obstacles and to always be positive and to always feel this mercy of Srimati Radhika's love that Krishna himself took on him to distribute it because he had also feelings for the suffering. They together, they have feelings for the suffering of all these living entities who try to be eternally happy in this world because it is their constitutional position to eternally be happy. So this can only happen when we have the mercy of this divine loving couple who have come together this time. And they don't come together all the time. Most of the time it's Vishnu who comes, like the minister and the law keeper. But this time Prema Avatar came and is still here. Nitai wants to give it and we are in the line of Nityananda. In the words of the Mahajanas, it is seen. Hema jala dakai, prema dara barishai. A golden rain cloud showers torrents of love. So who is that golden rain cloud? It's Chaitanya. Showering torrents means a lot of, you know, amounts, like unlimited amounts of love. So where is this love now? Is it gone? It is here. It is here all the time. But how I can connect, how I plug my consciousness in? That is another question. That is always my everyday choice and my everyday uh, desire. <laughs> This deluge of prema, she go to Hari, inundates the world. And this prema is the sweet rasa of Braja, known as Manjari Bhava's prem, which is hardly attained by Brahma and Shiva. Now Baba becomes very direct, very direct. So prema, we could translate it with a divine love, that is a general, general description. Yes, we all want prema, we want divine love, we want eternal love. But here Baba says, it is for the whole world because Gora, Chaitanya, has given and inundated means like a big flood has come and everything is covered. And this prema is, which is that prema? It is the sweet rasa of Braj known as Manjari Bhavas Prema. So there's many ways how we can love God. We can, we know from Bhagavad Gita, Srila Prabhupada gave in the introduction, the different kinds of relationships we can have. This beautiful Krishna consciousness is so elevated and is so free that we can even choose which relationship we would have. It's not only you know, being a servant and having a fear if I can do things wrong or if God will punish me. No, it's not that. That we have thrown out long ago. Or have we? 
It is also possible to come into a relationship as a friend, as a child even, to have the, the you know, Supreme Lord in a loving, motherly feeling in my heart, like Mother Mary. There's so many similarity, and the more we go into it, and the more we have the mercy to, to dive into that prema, we see how unlimited is that prema. But at this time, there is a special prema that has become available that was never available like this before. And that is the Mandari Bhavas prema. Why is it so special? Because here we are little girls who are serving that divine love of Radha and Krishna when they are together. And that is the most highest position any soul could have and the most purest selfless love that can only be given as a gift. It's, I mean, we talk about unconditional love a lot, even between the humans. Everyone is yearning for this unconditional love. Oh, if they only would love me without any expectations, then our love could be happy. Our relationship could be, you know, mature and uh, balanced. But here in this case, it is the Manjari Bhava's Prem, means the Prem that has been given by Shimati Radhika through Gauranga Mahaprabhu, through our Guru Vaga, through our disciplic succession, coming from Nitai and from Janava Ma down to our teachers, to our beautiful, beautiful, beautiful gurus. And they are not only male, they are females. That is also the speciality of our lines. We have so many enlightened ladies. Janava Ma is the first. And they have overcome all the material identifications and they can just spread the love in the mood of becoming a very beautiful, sweet, young cowherd girl. I always say to the people who have never heard about it, flower girl. Remember that, Gurudev, when you give the Swarup to my mother, <laughs> unexpectedly at Tarun Baba's house. It was, I don't know, 10 years ago. <laughs> I, have, I have been witnessing such a miracle. And all of a sudden, when I also didn't know, Gurudev was just inspired to give her the mercy. And he said, you are a flower girl. You are helping Srimati Radhika. Your service is to make the bed. <laughs> and my mother was melting. You know, she didn't know what was happening to her. She was chanting Maha Mantra for many, many years. The best what she could do. And all of a sudden, she became like a small girl. She was putting her head on the lap of Gurudev. And she says, I love you. I have never seen my mother like that. So she got blessed. We can see that the mercy is not only for those who have, you know, perfection already in person. You know, they are like knowing a lot of uh, verses and they they are very uh, super, super intelligent. No, the mercy can come at every moment because we are in the line of Nitai. Of Janavama, that is the line of causeless mercy, and we see also in Japan how this causeless mercy is, you know, still flowing. It can flow in any second. Seeing the fallen souls, the Lord wept, unable to remain calm. He glanced with his merciful eyes. So he came to earth with a matchless golden form. I would die for that Goranga. I cannot forget his sweet form and his clever love for even half a moment. This is one devotee speaking now, glorifying. He did not mind about caste and ashram. He did not mind, you know, whether you were from that group, from that caste, or whether you were uh, in the house or having a job, or if you were a very rich person or a very poor person. 
He did not mind about caste or caste and ashram, what you have or what you not have or any fault anyone might have. Rather, he bestowed the treasure of Prem, which is rarely attained even by Lakshmi, Shiva or Brahma on all the people of the world. And I think I am still uh, um, begging for this realization that this Prema Bhakti and like this Sri Sri Prema Bhakti Chandrika and this Prema distribution is for all the people of the world. Many people think that those who distribute the books, they were stupid because they did the same thing all day and day in and day out and they only learn how to sell the books. But I don't think so. I think it was a very beautiful time and I have a realization, I have some gifts from this because going to the street every day and speaking to all the different people who come, I have no control about who come. Sometimes old people, sometimes young people, sometimes very uh, elevated doctors or lawyers and sometimes housewives or small children. But I... I share with you today that this kind of practice in my life for some years I did it and it helped me to realize there is no difference between the souls according to their bodies or their, their knowledge or background. And once they come in contact with some pure soul's desire that they can connect again to the eternal soul position, they are blessed. And I believe that even those people who have no interest, if they get the mercy, they will develop interest. Right, Braja Biharini. So many Japanese, they had no interest. They came to do some yoga lessons. But now they are chanting. Now they become vegetarian. They become, you know, they come to Rundava and they like to even clean the dust of all the Brajabas' feet. Why? They were not interested in that, but they got the mercy of one devotee who felt the suffering of their souls. And it's still going on and on and on. We say, see that the flood of prema is unstoppable. But we need to be a few, how do you see, very, very uh, intensely desiring souls also that this can happen, right? Good if you only were once there in Japan and the flow began. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> and Jainanda Maharaj, he wanted to stay in India, but Guru said, no, no, you have to go back to your country now. I will come and I will bless all the devotees and give you a chance to serve Nittai in that way. So we see, we don't have to wait until somebody is interested. We just try to lovingly serve and connect ourselves. And then also others will have this effect. They feel it. Their souls will be sparking again. That is the effect that we have heard from two stones. When they are, you know, two stones are lying on the floor. They cannot uh, have a spark by themselves. But if you take the two stones and you put them together, they can make a fire, have melted their heart like us. Then the fire of prema can again be distributed. It is still there. It is always there. It is all pervading now. Goranga has done it. It's how I want to be used in that service and how I am be. You know, I am ready to be the instrument of that love, which is Shimati Radhika's love, to collect the hussies, to collect the souls. And my guru, my guru Dev, he is one of these dasis, and she is collecting flowers, these souls, and makes a garland for Shimati Radhika from these souls. Thus, Gora appeared with such a compassionate and rasika heart making the world rich with the treasure of prema, which is coveted by Govinda Das. Coveted means desires. So, Gora, Goranga, that golden avatar, 
he appeared with a heart that was melted, full of love, because it's the heart of Srimati Radhika, of our divine mistress, of the most compassionate personality that ever existed and that will ever exist. Srimati Radhika is so soft that even if a leaf will come on her beautiful soft body, you will see the whole leaf's print on her body. She is melting in every aspect of her being with love for Mohan, with love for her friends, with love, especially motherly also love for her Dasis. So, if we miss motherly love, we just have to connect with Swamini. She has the most golden motherly love that no living entity could ever have in that way. And making the world rich with the treasure of Prem. After this, the blessed author says, Radhika da pranapati ki bhave kandayaniti iha buja bhakata samaja The original personality of Godhead, Prajendra Nandana, accepted the feelings of Sri Radha. And although he was himself the lord of Sri Radha's life, he simply wept in Sri Radha's mood. All of a sudden, Krishna became Radha and he could feel what she feels and crying. And we see all the pictures, if you look, in the temples or also nowadays in internet, Mahaprabhu's pictures, always some tears are rolling. Because this golden avatar is the combined form of Radha and Krishna and Radharani is prominent. You remember that Gurudev always says it's a sandwich. Shimati Radhika is on both sides and Krishna's in the middle. And that is a very special combination. It tastes so good. That combination of love, of compassion, of unconditional acceptance of every soul. That is the love that we are always eager for. And that is the love that heals all the wounds in my heart. So here comes another verse, beautiful, very my one of my favorite songs of Chaitanya Chaitamrita. Kahan korun kaha pao, Rajendra Nanda. Kahan mara pranata, Murali vada. Kahare kohibo ke ba. Jane Maraduka Brajanda Nanda Vino Fate Marabuka. Now she Radhika is lamenting about her lover. What shall I do? Where can I get Brajandra Nandan? Where can I get Brajendra, the son of Nandan? And where is the Lord of my life who plays the flute? What shall I say to whom? Who will know my distress? Without Brajenta Nandana, my heart breaks. Sriman Mahaprabhu's main aim was to relish the sweetness of Sri Radha's love, taking shelter of Sri Radha Rani's feelings of separation. Because separation is most capable of stirring the ocean of Prem, and thus its relish is also most astonishing. So, Sri Krishna is weeping inside, observing Sri Mati Radhika's feelings and also weeping in her feelings. And so we find that's why Mahaprabhu was dancing and singing Krishna, Krishna. But those of us who have been so blessed 
to hear about the deepest reasons. When we hear Mahaprabhu seeing Krishna, Krishna, we can feel Radha, Radha, because we can feel that now this is Srimati Radhika's feelings and they are expressed in that beautiful golden form and we are invited into these feelings, into serving these feelings. Because we have heard many times that this is what the maidservants, those small flower girls, they like to do. They like to bring them together. And if Shimati Radhika is, is longing for Krishna, then the maidservant immediately wants to do everything to help soothe her pain of separation. And sometimes she goes into the forest looking for Krishna. Sometimes she will sing a song, giving Swamini the feelings of that song that might make her feel pacified a little bit. Sometimes in the morning she will put on these blue earrings that will remind her of that blue lover. And she will feel that my maidservant is putting on Shyam. And she puts on the blue sari and blue bangles. So, Srimati Radhika is so merciful and so helpless in that situation that she needs the help of the Dasis. And that is the special gift that comes and that inundates the world even now. And especially now. It inundates my heart if I open my heart for it. And it can inundate everybody's heart who is open for that. And even if the people are not so open, by the love, their hearts will open. Just like in my mother's heart. She got the causeless mercy of Sri Pat Sadhu Maharaj Ki Jai. <laughs> Gurdiv, sorry, I had to tell you this. This is such a sweet story. And my mother has passed away now. But she remembers, and her soul took it. And the soul is blessed, and she she went to Shimati Radhika's. Because Gurdiv accepted her. I accept you as my Dasi. I will make you feel how you feel as a small flower girl of Shimati Radhika. So the mercy comes in different, different ways. And it's unlimited. It's not only one way. Okay, my dears, I cannot see the time. Sundaram. Rade, rade. I get carried away in Srimati Radhika's glories. By Gurdiv's mercy, we are so lucky. Sorry for being such a fanatic, Gurdi. <laughs> Should we all become a crazy, mad, and fanatic? <laughs> Jai Ho! <laughs> That's for me also. <laughs> you are already puggle. You are already the most puggle, Gurdi. You make us all puggle. <laughs> no, no. I do not think I do all. So, all glories to Naratam Dastako. He also gave this to give us this beautiful, beautiful feelings and his madness in his love for Chaitanya, for Nitainanda. Rati, Rati, oh.